Greg Shoemaker, TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com. I'm here at East Central High School with new head coach Justin Roden. And Justin, congratulations. Not a bad program to inherit, is it? Uh, no, it's a great tradition here and uh, very appreciative of the fact that they give someone like myself an opportunity uh, to be the head coach of such a great pro program. Uh, and you couldn't ask them anything better for, you know, for your first job. Uh, with, with the community and the support from the administration here and the kids and uh, I'm really excited. It's a great place for, for me to get a start you know, as a head coach and, and to raise a family and to be part of such an awesome fan base and community. Well, let's talk a little bit about what you're bringing to the table. Uh, offensively, what kind of schemes you're going to run and, and what do you look for? I, mean, I know you lose a lot of players, but uh, who do you look for to be special on offense yeah you know it seems to be wherever I go whether it's the gas station or up the street to uh, to get a sandwich everyone wants to know what we're doing uh, differently on offense and I, you know I don't want to disappoint anybody because this program has a tradition of running the ball you know we're, we're ground and pound and uh, my background is, is to run the ball I, I, I think there's nothing more humiliating than a football team that can can run the ball down your throat and uh, if you can't stop the run you got a great chance to win. You can run the football, so we're going to keep running the ball. Um, now I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you we weren't going to spread it out a little bit, and uh, we're going to throw it because uh, we have some great young players that are on the edges and some skilled players that we'd like to get touches. So we're going to we're going to keep the tradition of the past, and we're going to run that ball, but we're going to we're going to do it a few different ways, uh, and we're going to throw it, and it won't be exciting, but. Uh, you know, to say that we're going to throw the ball every single play and, and change what we've done here for a long time is, isn't going to happen. Defensively, what are you looking for to do that side of the ball? Uh, defensively, we're going to – well, we're going to – my brother's going to be the defense coordinator, and we're going to change the philosophy on that side of the ball. We've been traditionally a, a man uh, blitz team. We're going to play a lot more zone coverage. Uh, we'll be multiple fronts. Uh, there's going to be an odd front 50 up there a little bit. Uh, you'll see some 40, but a little bit more diversified. Uh, but we're still going to bring the, the, the same concept of, of running fast and, and playing hard and being physical. Uh, and if you ask anybody, uh, you know, I heard you ask some of the kids before uh, about you know, the tradition here at East Central, and, that, and that's to be physical and intimidating. And, uh, you know, the intimidating thing, I don't know how much stock you put into that, but East Central is a pretty tough place to play. And if we, if we can be a physical football team and we can run downhill, uh, I like our chances versus anybody. Well, you're going. To, uh, they're throwing the, the young kids to the wolves early on in your season. Your schedule is incredibly tough, especially in the non-conference part of it. You got LaSalle coming in. You also have Harrison, a, a traditional rivalry. But no matter what, that's that's as, an, as intense a game as there is on the schedule. Uh, talk about your schedule a little bit. And now that you're here, uh, what sort of part do you want to have in, in building that schedule moving forward? Well, we're really blessed, actually. The schedule has played out for us that we have seven home games and three games on the road. So when you don't have to travel uh, as much, it kind of gives those young kids a little bit more familiarity with the, uh, the normal routine. So uh, like you said, we do. We play some great teams. Harrison's always a physical football team, and it's always going to be a battle. And the, the records and who you have back you know, every year is kind of thrown out the door. And, and they do a great job down the road. Uh, LaSalle High School, new staff, new blood, great athletes, great wide receivers, always going to be talented. But, uh, you know, like we played Sycamore last year, I think uh, that game does nothing but good things for us. You know, we're going to be physical, and our kids are always excited to play, you know, a playoff-type team that, that's really similar to the Columbus East Cathedral-level football teams in Indiana. So, um, you know, and our conference is getting better and better. You know, Lawrenceburg did a great job last year, and obviously with them you know, leaving the conference, uh, you know, our conference is growing uh, Greensburg has been well, and Batesville is going to be good again next year. And not to take anything from those other teams, but uh, we play good physical football in this conference, and uh, it's going to be a good challenge, especially being so young. Now, your your lineage as a coach has just been unbelievable. You you, you coached it with Kerry Combs at Coleraine. You won a state championship at Coleraine. Tom Bolden on that staff. Rick Haynes at Lakota East on that staff. Uh, then you went coach uh, with Coach Huber at your alma mater, Mount St. Joe's. So many good coaches along the line for you to pick their brains. What is Justin Roden bringing to the table from those guys that will be just a little bit different than your own? Yeah, what's great is I've worked for some coaches that, uh, you know, have done different schemes, different philosophies, but ultimately were great player coaches. You know, the kids for Rod Huber and Kerry Combs played, played with relentless effort, were passionate, and, you know, they always gave – when one walked off the football field under Kerry and uh, Coach Huber, you knew the kids always put as hard as they could. So what I took away from that is to, is to be 
uh, a fiery coach is to, is to yell what I need to yell and to love them when I need to love them. And, uh, you know, as different as they all are, uh, they're really similar in the fact that they, they care about those kids. Those kids want to come back to those schools. They, they want to give back, and they want to, they, they carried on a tradition for those other classes. So lineage and, and other great guys, I, I've just been blessed to, 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 like you said, to sponge from those coaches and, and take as much as I can. And, um, you know, if I can be half the coach that, you know, some of the guys I've coached for, then, then I'm doing a pretty good job. There you go. Justin Roden, the new head coach of the East Central Trojans.